morning and welcome to Good Morning Geelong here on Channel 31. And what a wonderful way to start our morning. We're out at the uh, Renaissance, that's the new word, rebirth is what the English uh, der derivation of Renaissance is here at Whittington of the Early Learning and uh, New Family Centre. And welcoming to our, our Lisa. Lisa Neville, how are you, Lisa? Good, Graham. Thank Great you very to be much here. for your time. Yeah, pleasure. And uh, it is important to you, I know, uh, you've been present here at a polo place here in Whittington. Uh, yeah, look, it's a great day. It is a celebration. It's been, uh, you know, three years of work from a whole lot of people to try and get this kindergarten back up and running again. Uh, it closed because of declining enrolments and uh, so a lot of effort went into engaging with the community, uh, working on establishing play groups, trying to really get kids back into a kinder program because it's absolutely critical for their transition to school. Originally opening in 1979 and uh, viewers, apologies for the background noise, but it's just a wonderful lot of uh, people here, including a wonderful lot of kids who have put on a wonderful display at the opening. Lisa, there is a very important lady, apart from yourself, that uh, has also played a very passionate part in this, and that's the wonderful Joan Kerner. Yeah, Joan Kerner is one of the ambassadors for, for the Community Renewal Project and Whittington is uh, one of those communities that have funding uh, over the next uh, three years in fact. Uh, and so she's played a really important role in uh, re-engaging the community in early childhood services. So she wasn't able to join us today, but she, and I know she used the word, she was devastated not to be here because, uh, you know, she feels a, really sense of, a, a real sense of being a part of this community. So, uh, but she's done a great job with working with all of us, with uh, Glastonbury, with the City of Greater Geelong, with Alcoa and all the partners in Community Renewal to really, you know, get this back up and running and give kids in this community the best start in life. And, you're, and, and one of the great supporting uh, roles is, that, is the attendance here this morning of uh, a lot of not only people from different areas of our uh, community, but also the parents and the children. They've obviously got a significant pride in today's uh, opening and what lies ahead. Well, really, without the community being engaged in this, it would never have reopened. And they, you know, they have really driven it. They're excited. Their kids are here. Uh, they can see the difference that it's making to their kids. And you know, they. Re I think really now this will be a centre that this community feels is absolutely theirs, and they'll play a really important role in keeping it going into the future. Lisa, you're a very busy lady, and uh, it's been a very busy couple of months. And uh, unfortunately. Uh, I, have, I can't let you go. Saturday the 7th of February, that was a, a devastating day in Victorians' history. Uh, we're at least starting to be on the road to recovery. Yes, look, oh, it has been, you know, it's been a really difficult time for all Victorians, really, that, since that date. And, uh, you know, I had the opportunity to visit a lot of communities, talk to a lot of families. And, uh, you know, it was a tragic event and it's impacted substantially on communities. But... I think running alongside that was just the magnificent effort of so many Victorians who all pitched in to try and make a difference, whether it was donating goods or money or whether it was volunteering their time. And that, can I say, has made such a difference to people in those communities. So I think we're all trying to take the burden off families as they go through a really difficult process of rebuilding their lives. Another one of your portfolios that comes under your umbrella is uh, something you've been involved in this week is the Seniors Festival that is uh, come fastly approaching. Well the Seniors Festival is approaching and also we've also just announced the uh, opening of the Seniors Award. So this is for the Senior of the Year Award that's uh, given out each year in the lead up to the Seniors Festival. So it's a great chance for people to think about someone in their community who, you know, an ordinary person who does an extraordinary job in their community and we've got so many seniors who do that uh, and it's just a great way to acknowledge them. So I encourage people to think about someone they might like to nominate. And Lucy, you're, uh, a, n a number of mental health is another one that comes under your umbrella. A lot happening in that area as far as community involvement and development of awareness and understanding. 
Well, that's right. So, you know, we've just gone through a really major process of looking at how do we make our mental health system more accessible, uh, more able to support children and young people who are at risk, and also a system that's able to respond earlier when somebody gets unwell. And so we've, we've got a period of reform coming up. We've got new money, including some money in Geelong for some new children, youth services, a new headspace site out of the Bellarine, and also a new crisis um, service that will operate from Geelong. So, uh, and, and of course, some new beds being built at the Swanson Centre. So, you know, mental health is everybody's business, as I like to say. And uh, you know, we have a role in, uh, you know, supporting the services. But we all need to talk about mental health, mental illness, to raise community awareness, reduce the stigma, so that people get the help they need as early as possible. And it was great to see, as you, you've mentioned, Headspace, Tony Van Hammond, uh, and the, the Headspace unit uh, really now starting to open up on. Uh, well, one of your favourite parts of the country, the Ballerine. That's right. So Headspace, which is, you know, one of the leading children and youth, youth mental health services that we have uh, in the state is now going to be able to deliver some services out to young people out in the Ballerine Peninsula. So, uh, and that's a partnership with Headspace, with the state government and with the City of Greater Geelong. So it's going to be a great new service that's available to young people who might be at risk of mental illness on the Ballerine Peninsula. Our viewers, you probably think to yourself, and I am going to ask the question, when do you get some time for yourself, Lisa? <laughs> well, I always watch, watch the footy, <laughs> hang out with my son, and he unfortunately he always plays footy very early in the morning on the weekend. But uh, who's uh, he play with? Uh, he's with uh, Geelong College. He's up there with Geelong College, yeah. so a promising star. Uh, yes, he's doing well in the A's at the moment, so we'll see how we go. But you know, if I could just urge us to have a later start on a Saturday morning, would be great for us uh, working parents. <laughs> That is supported by a lot of people out there. Eight, you know, the 8.30 starts get a bit rusty, don't they? Uh, uh, yeah, on a Saturday, you, you know, after a long week, uh, yes, they do. But, look, it's great to see kids involved in activities and you can't, uh, you know, and parents are out there all the time supporting them. So it's a, it is a great thing to be involved in. And when you're in the house, do you take bragging rights with the success of your beloved Geelong Football Club? Absolutely. So at the moment, I'm able to brag and it's fantastic. And <laughs> So I, I'm pretty positive that I'll be able to keep doing that all year. We thank our Lisa, yes, Lisa Neville, who has opened the uh, early development and early learning centre here at Apollo Place in Whittington, in our great city of Geelong. Thank you very much, Lisa. Carry on the great work because you are a really strong and true representative of our uh, area around Geelong, the city, uh, the, the seat of Ballerine in the Victorian State Parliament. Our Lisa, Lisa Neville, the Honourable Lisa Neville, as we go to a break on Good Morning Geelong.